Eat what you love and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi and today I have an amazing video. Everything about roasting tomatoes. All different kinds of tomatoes that are going to be here this summer and we can roast them and have some interesting recipes like sauces for pasta or salads or adding them to burgers and wraps everything with the roasted tomatoes so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna half all our tomatoes place them on a baking pan and if they're like these tiny tomatoes you don't have to put them all looking up you can if you want to but they're gonna dry beautifully Sprinkle them with a little bit of salt, a bit of pepper, all over the pan. And then we're going to drizzle in some olive oil. We want them to dehydrate, not dry. Now we're going to add some basil leaves. Look at these beautiful green basil leaves. So fresh and beautiful. And they're going to turn black and dry, but they're not going to be burnt. They're going to taste delicious. That's the color they take when they dry. So here we're gonna put all those basil leaves with the little tiny tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and they're gonna mix and all of them are gonna flavor each other. It's gonna be fantastic, the pepper, the salt, the basil, all over our pan and our tomatoes. Now, once we have all of that basil in our pan, we're going to add some olive oil and we're going to sprinkle olive oil all over the pan. And don't worry if it's not perfect because it's going to start cooking and it'll flow from one to the other. No problem. Now we're going to bake them for two hours in a 300 degree oven. Close your oven. I had it first heating so that when I opened it, it wouldn't lose all of the heat. This is one hour later. Look at them. They look beautiful. They're starting to shrink and I'm sure they're sweetening up a bit. Look at those basil leaves all crispy and delicious. In the meantime, we're going to take some garlic and we're going to roast it. So we cut part of the heads and the top of the garlic so that we can leave some open space for that garlic to roast and to add some olive oil right on top of each garlic clove. Just a tiny bit of olive oil and you could also add any herb that you wanted to. You don't have to, but you could if you wanted to. You could add some oregano, you could add some basil, you could add some thyme. How about some delicious rosemary? And that's it. Just add the olive oil, place them in that baking pan. We're wrapping them in the paper so that we can put them in the oven all at the same time. Remember, the oven is hot. We just throw them into the pan, close the oven, and wait for the next hour to come. Those garlic were on a baking pan at 150 degrees, I'd leave them there for half an hour only. Check it out. Mmm, looks beautiful. They're almost drying now. So, close and wait another hour. Now they're ready. Look at that oil bubbling mixed with all that water. At this point, you could take those tomatoes, add some of this roasted garlic and have a huge amount of pasta sauce. Roasted tomato and roasted garlic pasta. Of course, you might only want to use one head of garlic, even though the garlic is super, super smooth. It is not strong. It is actually delicious. You can actually rub it on top of your bread and it's completely delicious. It's not going to leave any smell in your mouth. Remove all the little garlic from your garlic heads and then we can keep them in the refrigerator for up to a month. 
it is amazing I usually put them on top of my toast on my burgers in many recipes oh look at that they're like a creamy and delicious not intense garlic but the flavor is amazing look at that it's beautiful mix it and create a garlic paste from roasted garlic actually a roasted garlic paste at the same time our tomatoes so we're going to keep all of our tomatoes in some glass containers same as the roasted garlic because we're going to refrigerate them for a while and i love it. look at that Ooh, that's beautiful here we have some celebrity tomatoes we cut in half just like the other ones and place them in a baking pan you can remove or not the leaves of the tomatoes but you just put them on the baking pan exactly like you did before and you go through the same process these are a little bigger than our smaller tomatoes we're gonna add some chopped garlic here so here we have some chopped garlic just throw it in there salt and pepper and we are done this one has dried oregano leaves and some dried thyme now these ones have some oregano leaves they are the same tomatoes with some oregano dried oregano and some heads of garlic i love to add some roasted garlic to the tomatoes now we're gonna put these also in the oven at 300 degrees and these might take two and a half hours because they're a tiny bit bigger the rest is the same now we go to our roma tomatoes and roma tomatoes are also roastable i'm gonna cut them the wrong side because i want them to keep more of the long shape that way they look different you can cut them any way you want but if you cut them round they're all gonna look the same and I wanted to make some different ones. So I cut all of my Roma tomatoes by half, put them in the baking pan. These tomatoes, I'm gonna put skin side up. Not the same as I did with the other ones. It's just because I wanna do something different. You can do it skin side down, skin side up, however you want. But when you put them skin side down, you add the olive oil to the pan first the salt and pepper, the herb, and then you put your tomatoes. Here we go with our other tomatoes and our Roma tomatoes. Look at them. Ooh, they're coming out beautiful. Those Roma tomatoes right there after only an hour will make a sauce that is out of this world. If you leave them for the extra hour, they're going to kind of dry. Look at this. All sorts of different kinds of tomatoes dried so you can see that they are perfect and they look amazing in all sorts of dishes enjoy roasted tomatoes all this summer and keep some for the winter remember with chef pachi Delicious diets are sustainable diets. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.